Hello everyone, I'm Nark Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Before I begin, please hit the thumbs up button down below to show your support. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one with me, you can go to my website. It is narcsurvivor.co.uk. The narcissist is watching you right now. Narcissists are always playing a game. They get you to filter everything through them so that they can live vicariously through you. They view you as an extension of themselves. So they are heavily dependent on you. And without your existence, they wouldn't be able to survive emotionally. But we don't need to play games. We don't need to filter things or live vicariously through anyone because we can do things for real. We can put our time and effort into things. But when we do that, we expect to receive something in return for our loss or suffering. We expect to receive something good or useful to make us feel better about what has failed or what has been lost or missed. When we invest into something, we expect a return on our investment because we put our time into it, so we should expect a result. But when you're involved with a narcissist, you can put in as much time and effort as you want, and by the end of it, you won't have anything to show for it. You won't have gained or achieved anything. You won't have won any advantage from it. And it's a result of their actions or inexperience. Not only because they didn't fully recognize or value you, but even if they did, they wouldn't have even had the means to reward or credit you. Which is why they often won't even give you the recognition that you deserve. Because they see it as though that's only going to put them in a weaker position, since they haven't even got the resources. So all they're going to do is continue to watch you. And they will observe you attentively and regularly. Because you're the one with the value. You're the one who's actually doing things for real. So they will be observing your trends and events. They will be monitoring you. They will be stalking you. They will be watching everything you do and they will be secretly plotting and planning to carry out illegal or harmful actions. They will be concocting schemes to implement and perform on you. But by doing that, they're really just exposing themselves for the frauds that they are. And anyone who does that is quite clearly a narcissist because it's something that narcissists have to do in order to survive. Which is why this world is never a level playing field. There's never a situation where everyone has a fair and equal chance of succeeding. And if there was, you would probably run circles around them. You would be greater, better and stronger than they are. And they know it. Which is why they cannot allow that to happen. It's why they have to make things unfair because otherwise they wouldn't stand a chance. You would be showing them up. You would be exposing them. And they do not want to be exposed for the frauds that they are. Which is why any chance they get, they have to trick and deceive you. They have to carefully and systematically search for you. And then intentionally do or say things annoying and offensive in order to upset you get your attention and cause trouble. They have to subject you to extensive and substantial amounts of manipulation to where it often leaves us with no other option than to fine tune ourselves so that we fit the desired fit appearance or results. But even when you invest something into the narcissist, you don't know where it goes because they're living multiple lives. Which is why it's very hard to give your time to them because you don't know what is taking place secretly and without your knowledge and awareness. 
and even if you start to catch on, they will still expect you to communicate with them as though they're doing nothing wrong. Which means that if you invest your time, it's going to be wasted. There's not going to be a payout. You're not going to get anything from dealing with them. And in fact, you're just going to lose everything you have. So you're essentially working for free. You're giving away free services. That's boosting them up and making their lives better. And you get nothing back in return for your efforts. Because they're con artists. They commit fraud and participate in dishonest schemes. And this is why a lot of people are struggling today. Because now even empaths don't want to invest anything into other people. They may just ignore people in need and focus on themselves. Or they may not even have the means. And it's because people are very insecure. So they're aggressively seeking power. And they're willing to cheat, swindle and exploit people. Because they lack empathy so they don't care. Which means that it's nothing for them to waste your time. And they will do that because they're full of fear and anxiety. They're worried that if they don't exploit you or waste your time. Then something undesirable will be done to them. And that is what triggers them to act. Or it may leave them unwilling or reluctant to do something. Because they fear the consequences. Which is why whenever you demand or expect a fair exchange they will postpone it. And it may even cause them to lose interest or enthusiasm to where they will make up excuses because they're too afraid. But deep down they sense that something is incomplete and that they owe you something in return for your efforts. Which is why they will continue to engage with you as long as you let them. But they will twist it as though it's you who needs to do something for them because that is how they dodge their shame. But this is why the only thing you can really do in these situations is cut them off. Because otherwise they're just going to keep coming and it's never going to stop. It's just going to discourage you even more. Because you're the one who is going to be doing all of the work and they're never going to be doing anything for you in return. So you're the one who is going to take the fall and when that happens, they're not going to be there for you. You may never hear from them again. Unless they believe that you're still willing to validate the illusion. Which is something that you can do if you choose to. But you can do that until there's nothing left. And it won't change anything. Because the ball is in their court. It's up to them to make the, the, the next move. And they intuitively know it. Because every person possesses this innate intuition. And that is why they can't leave things alone. That is why they keep watching you. Because they know it's time for them to deal with a problem or make a decision. But they don't want to do that because they're too weak and afraid. So they'd rather watch you to see how you deal with it on your own. And then they can sit back and blame you in an attempt to dodge the shame that they would otherwise feel when they just wasted your time because what you did was for real your work was for real you were genuine you weren't pretending it wasn't fake, false or artificial like it is with them but this is what puts you at a disadvantage when you're dealing with narcissists. It puts you at a huge risk. Because they will ruthlessly exploit you in order to gain an advantage for themselves. And this is why the world is changing. It's why narcissists are struggling more than ever before. To where they have to watch you and come after you which is not beneficial to you because they have nothing to bring to the table. In their minds, they are the table, even though they've never done anything for you, which is actually self-destructive because all they really want is to feel alive in the presence of a powerful person. That's what they're seeking. That's all they're really looking for. And yet, when they come around a person like that, they end up destroying them. 
So at this point in time, there's very few of us left. And there's even less of us who are willing to entertain them. Because we've already been burned before. And we don't want to be burned again. But they will come around us and take whatever they can get. Just so they can pretend to be independent. When the truth is that they're just avoiding doing something that they should do. Because they can't live without you. But this is also why they're so hooked on you. It's why they're always plotting on you and trying to be two steps ahead of you. Because they intuitively know that the situation hasn't been resolved. But they suppress these feelings by further manipulating and abusing you so that they can continue to exist in their false reality. And this is why we have to learn to only worry about ourselves instead of putting other people first and trying to help them which is really sad because we came here to help people but by doing that we just end up being used and abused and then we can't help anyone including ourselves which means that by that point we won't be able to help anyone anyway because we need to take care of ourselves first but these types of people will come into your life and prevent you from taking care of yourself which means that they're also preventing you from taking care of the people around you so if you take a fall everyone else goes down with you because otherwise those could have been people who you could have helped you could have made a difference in their lives but now you can't because of all of the games all of the lies and manipulations that wasted your time they ruined everything, which means that it's all fake. They're just pretending. Which we should realize and accept after everything we've been through. There's no success with narcissists. There's no winning with them because they destroy everything. Which is why you will never get the things or the life that you want and even if you leave and try to build that on your own they will come back just to destroy it or at the very least they will be watching you because they know that they had a chance with you in the past they had the opportunity to succeed with you and they blew it they messed it up so they sense that the situation hasn't been resolved and yet they don't have the means or the resources to correct it so all they can do is hold on to you and watch you but if your life improves in any way they will try to destroy it because it just reminds them of how they messed up of how they fail to achieve or correct things and they don't want to be reminded of that they'd rather continue to live in this delusion instead of being actively involved because that would mean that they would have to participate and they would have to do something about it instead of just giving you negative comments or talking down on you which is not going to benefit them because they don't even have the means to correct what they did to you and it's a constant reminder to them of how they messed up which is something that they don't want to accept so all they can really do is continue to abuse you and gaslight you into seeing reality in a different way because they have to live in this delusion where they don't have to do anything and they can see themselves as perfect which is the cause of their defeat because narcissism is self-destructive. It doesn't produce long-term success. Because they have this sense of arrogance, grandiosity and entitlement when they never even put in the work. So if they're awarded and credited for things they haven't even accomplished, how does that benefit anyone in society today? Of course, it's not going to lead us anywhere good. 
because they don't even possess the qualities, abilities or skills. They got it without even earning it, without even putting in the work. And yet they determine their own value. And they boss you around and impose their will on you to the point where they end up destroying you because it was never meant to be that way. We should be determining their value so that our value doesn't end up going into the wrong hands and those who are actually capable and effective will receive what they deserve. And then the world will function in the way that it's supposed to. But until then, people in this world who are real and valuable are going to be scarce. And instead, all we're going to see is fake, narcissistic people who really have nothing to offer to anyone. Because we're building up the wrong people and we're putting them on a pedestal when they were never meant to be there to begin with. Because they haven't helped anyone. All they've done is use them like a step on a ladder in order for them to climb ahead, which doesn't benefit anyone. It doesn't even benefit them. Because what are they going to do when they get there? They're not meant to be leaders. They're not meant to be in an authoritative position. So they're only going to destroy us. And then they're going to destroy themselves. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.